Okay, so we're back with our third semi-finalist, and uh, I normally just give the word to the victim. <laughs> and, uh, so you can introduce yourself and uh, tell us a bit about who you are, your musical background. Okay. Uh, my name is Sika Eirum, or Sigrid Eirum Fleipstotir, and I am an actor and a singer. I'm trained in musical theatre, and that's my main job. But I also have done quite a bit of singing, cabaret singing, and, um, and also have, have a song on the charts. Yeah. And yeah, my musical background is my training or could be like, yeah, musical theatre, classical. Mm -hmm. oh, did you start singing early? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not official. No. Okay. Like, my dad plays the guitar, so okay. Sing. So you grew up with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is your first time in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Have well, I've, I've been a backup singer twice. Yes. Okay. For for Fenty Silva. Okay. When she was her first entry, and uh, for Heida Olaf's a couple of years ago. Okay. Uh, have you ever considered participating as a solo artist before? Yes. In yeah. my dreams since I was a kid. Wow. Um, yeah. Have you ever sent, like, submitted a song before? No, no. So this is the first time. Yeah. And you got through. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, the composer of your song is also your boyfriend. Uh, have you worked together before? No. Uh, well, we did. We started a, uh, an album right before we, our song was uh, taken into the competition. Um, so. Yeah, we, we started working on an album, mm. and uh, that's the song that's on the charts. And then, now with that song holds, but then we've also played together, like, doing cabarets. Okay, okay. That's but no, you, you haven't recorded his song music no. before? No. no. Um, I know you're not allowed to sing your entry, but could you describe it for us? It's a dance song. It's a girly, feel-good song, and um, yeah, it's, it's got a good beat, mm -hmm. and and it's it's got a hook to it that you know it's gonna stick in your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, many of the Eurovision fans are very into the performances, almost as much as into the songs. Um, I have heard. Rumors about a big stage performance, and there's apparently a dance that people are learning. Yeah. Uh, like can this. you tell us a bit? Well, it goes like this. I'm not allowed to sing the song. <laughs> it goes with. So that's okay. So now everyone just start practicing. Yeah, and we have a video that's gonna go. I think it's gonna be published today or tomorrow. Okay. On YouTube. Where we have I'll a link to that. Mm -hmm. Where we have people like Patoska and Selma Björnsson and known known faces in the pop media yeah. doing the song, mm -hmm. the dance. Without knowing the song. Without knowing the song. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a rhythm to it. Cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then we have the, the dance, the choreographer for the number. He's a member of the Icelandic Dance Company. Okay. And he's uh, from the States. His name is Cameron Corbett, mm -hmm. and he's just he's getting really amazing ideas, and so we're not gonna stop with anything. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna make it as big as we as, as big as the budget allows. Yeah. Um, can you say anything about how the number is gonna look? Is it gonna be like a huge, colorful, sparkly, sparkly? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And cute. All the girls are cute. Mm -hmm. that are with me. And it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful, mm. sparkly and beautiful, sparkly and beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it sounds very good. Yes. Um, in Sirkvaket, all the songs have to be performed in Iceland. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is there a chance that your song will stay in Iceland again, or will you translate yeah. it to English? We will translate it. Okay. Yeah. So the English lyrics are already there. They're almost there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yourself prefer singing in Icelandic or in English? Um, yeah. It depends on the song. Mm -hmm. Some, sometimes it's difficult yeah, yeah. to sing in Icelandic because it's such a... Like, 
words are so long and it's not, it yeah. doesn't flow as well as English. Yeah. Mm. But sometimes it really suits the song to just stay in Icelandic. But for this song, the, the atmosphere of the song, it works both ways. Yeah. And, um, and I think uh, we prefer it to be in English because, you know, I don't, I, it's, I think it grooves better. Yeah. Mm. Uh, here in Iceland, it, it, Iceland is one of the countries that has the highest uh, percentage of people watching Eurovision. Uh, and everyone, it seems, in this country has an opinion. Mm -hmm. Some are positive, some are very negative, uh, but it seems everyone watches it. Yeah. Did you grow up in a family watching Eurovision? Yeah, well my first memories of Eurovision is from when I lived in Denmark, mm -hmm. and that that was, it was, yeah, we always watched it. It wasn't with like a, like a passion or anything, <laughs> it was more just like a fun family night. Yeah. But I have friends that have that are obsessed with Eurovision, and and so like I lived in Canada for a while, and I kind of got a, didn't know all the songs that were entering during that period. And I came back, and I was like, "What are you singing? What is this?" Because <laughs> they're so like they're into it, and yeah. they, you know discuss like why would that song get them further in that song? Or, so that sounds very familiar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I'm, you know, I'm getting there now. Yeah. Like with <laughs> so, what do these friends of yours think of that you're participating? Well, they love it. Yeah. Yes. Very excited. <laughs> but uh, since you have been following, even though not with a passion, uh, do you have a favorite Eurovision entry? Ever yeah. from any country? Well, I think my, because like, you connect things with your with memories mm -hmm. from songs, and my, I have a really fond memory of when Nicole won with uh, Ambition Blue. Mm -hmm. And also because my mom bought the album, that's when we lived in Denmark, and she bought the album and it had the song in, in Danish as well. And, and I also I spoke German when I was when I lived in Denmark because I watched Deutsch für Ausländer. Uh, and <laughs> so I, you know, the song spoke to me and, you know, and it's beautiful. And it ages well, the yeah, song. It does. Ages well. Yeah. And yeah, and then of course Sandra Kim. Yeah. She was my idol when me and my friend were like, Oh, you like did the hairbrush, hairbrush song. Yeah. <laughs> we all did, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and of course, Nono Lata. Mm -hmm. So my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Favorite Icelandic entry? Silvia mm Nox. -hmm. I just love, because it was so theatrical and she was so funny and I think it just got a bit misread <laughs> when, she was, when she was abroad. But I just, I love the humor in, mm -hmm. in that character. I wish they have a the girl yeah. who Sylvia. She was a fantastic singer, mm. a very fun person. So, and also a good actor. Yes, very good actor. Mm. That's my favorite. The, that's the first one, one that pops into my head. Mm. And us being a Norwegian site, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite Norwegian entry as well? Yeah, I love that. Look to me. And and um, oh, what's, what are they? Bobby Shocks. Bobby Shocks. Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, it, it's very memorable yeah. and very danceable. <laughs> yes. Um, of course, we assume that you're going to Copenhagen, but if you're not, what are your plans for the uh, immediate future? Well, I'm gonna uh, finish my album, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's not a horrible thing not to. No. But <laughs> you know, we want to win. Yeah. But you know, I'm gonna finish my album and you know, continue. I'm studying. Arts University. Finish that. And yeah, we see. Yeah. And you're currently in Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any uh, new theater in the? No, I'm writing. I'm writing a like a, it's like a more like a stand-up thing that I've been. It's been on hold for a while. Everything's been on hold for a while. Mm -hmm. But me and my friend were. Uh, we have a duet called Pico and Violetta, which are, um, they call themselves our alter, alter egos. Mm -hmm. They call themselves the King and Queen of Musical Theatre in Iceland. Ooh, nice. Yes. I'll see if I can find some links to that as well. Yeah, you will. Yeah. We had the gay pride song. Uh, ah, okay. okay, I'll find that then. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we're, we had a, a show, like a little musical that we did three years ago, two, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a sequel to that. I'm looking forward to diving into that again. Yeah. Yeah.
Ein bisschen mehr. 